stop meeting like this. <laughs> Can you talk about last week, uh, a lot of missed assignments, um, a little lack in the defense. How do you correct that and get ready for South Carolina? Offensive coordinator, uh, Don't make any more mental areas. Uh, obviously, that has a lot to do with uh, me making sure that the package is a manageable package for everybody, especially against teams that are going to tempo you like that. Uh, two, you just got to tackle. You know, and, uh, and those are things that we control and we just got to work on week in and week out. And so uh, today will be a lot of emphasis on good old fundamentals and, and uh, you know, being simple and sound and complimentary in our package. So that's how we're going to fix it. Is it weird at all? Uh, you look offense and defense, a lot of really good individual performances, mm -hmm. while the entire team performance maybe a, a little less so. Well, uh, I, there, there, there's going to be games like that. You know, you, you, you really want to go in and shut everybody out, obviously. But in this day and age, uh, that's rare. I mean, you look around the country, um, that, that's not that's a lot easier said than done. The biggest thing we got to do is make sure that we do a better job of, of, of keeping the right people on the field, uh, matching up personnel with personnel, and, and getting off the field. And, and how do you do that? You do that by eliminating missed tackles. And you, you eliminate them by not having the mental errors that we had. And once we do that, I think we'll, we'll be back on track. Chris, What's did you notice that the, you know, substitutions were a problem, just getting the right guys on and off, getting fresh guys on and off of what they do? Once I did. Uh, you, and what, that, what, what they try to do is make sure you limit your packages and, right. and not be able to go uh, sub, you know, sub and create the mismatches that you like to have to do. But what we've got to do is make sure that every package we have is complementary to what they do. And if we do that, now we have a chance to really get off the field on third down. And that's the thing that stood out. You know, we weren't able to get off the field. And the biggest thing is we have got to stop the run game. I mean, how would you assess Danico's uh, play through three games? Is he getting enough pressure on the quarterback? Do you like the way he's playing the run game? Well, you know, I, I like what Danico's doing. You know, he, he's a good kid and he's still learning our, our, our system. And, you know, you look at the two teams that we've played, uh, with the exception of Harbor, you know, uh, they're not letting you get sacks. You know, the ball's out of their hands, and uh, and even when you're playing man, they know where their hot reads are in man, and, you, and now you're challenging throws. The, the biggest thing that we got to get Danico doing is getting him comfortable, and definitely in regards to how we play the run game with him. Coach Mullen said there's a lot of similarities between Troy's offense and what you'll see this week. What do you see from South Alabama? Same as. It's the same as, you know, obviously they got some things that they believe in a little bit more uh, that are complementary to their skill. You know, they got two really good tight ends. I really like their fullback. I mean, they're, they're back number 33, really good running back. And then uh, 17 and 10, I think, are two of the better uh, tight ends that we'll see uh, throughout the season. So uh, you got to have a really good plan for them. And out of that personnel, they can make a lot of different looks. So uh, we'll have a good plan for it going into this week. Once you had a second to decompress and, and see 572 total yards given up, did you were you just like, ooh, I can't believe we won that game. I mean, what was that like for you thinking about that? I, I never thought we would win the game. I mean, that was the question. You know, you know in, in this day and age, there are days you, your offense is going to have to outscore people. And there are days where your defense is going to have to stop people. And, uh, and, and the thing that was most impressive about the guards, taking, you know, not taking away from what, what we didn't do defensively, is that we found a way to get stops when we needed to get stops. Uh, we found ways to get off the field when we needed to get off the field. And we also created three turnovers, which resulted in 20 points. So, you know, it, I think it always depends on how you look at the outcome. Do we want to – we never want to give up 572 points. I, I mean, yards, obviously. But that was a byproduct of the things we didn't do mental errors, lack of tackling, and those are things that we'll fix. When you look at the turnover ratio they all have, which is very good, obviously. Mm -hmm. How much do you kind of just study you know, how the turnovers happen, you know, whether it was your guy just make, making a play, running hard at the ball, whether it was the, the, the other team making a mistake? It's usually a combination of all three. Yeah. You know, usually you're going to uh, create some looks that they say, wow, I thought, coach, I thought it was man, but it was zone or, or vice versa. Yeah. And then, two, effort is always the most important thing. You know, good things happen to guys who are around the ball. And when you look at a guy like Darius Slay, and, and I'm not talking about the interception, but you look on the, on the, on the uh, special teams recovery, yeah. he's around the ball. And uh, when you're around the ball, great things really, really happen. And then, and then the biggest thing, that, like I said, is being in position to make plays. And uh, that's what we got to clean up this week. How much credit does John Bass?